the white man will never teach you this wisdom. Because whenever Willie Lynch came here in 1712, he came hired by the white slave masters of America to teach them how to get maximum productivity out of the Negroes that were slaves in America. Willie Lynch had a plantation in the West Indies that had the highest growth per capita and the greatest amount of production with the least amount of revolts and the least amount of overseeing in the world. So they hired him to teach them how to control the Negro like he controlled the Negro. Willie Lynch, when he came, he said, gentlemen, I sit here at the bank of the James River in Jamestown, Virginia, named after our glorious and illustrious King James, whose version of the Bible we cherish. This is a slave master. Said he loved King James's version of the Bible. Ain't no way in the world is good for the slave master and good for the slave too. That's another lecture for another time. Yeah. Willie Lynch said, the gentlemen I have outlined a number of differences among your slaves. And all I have done is use fear, envy, and distrust for control purposes. And I make their differences bigger than what they really are. I put the old against the young, the young against the old. I put the tall against the short, short against the tall. I put the light against the dark, dark against the light. I put the Negro on a small plantation at odds with that Negro on the big plantation. I put the male against the female. Did y'all hear? I put the field Negro against the house Negro. And I outlined 11 differences, and if you implement them for one year, the slaves will become self-perpetuating, self-refueling. In other words, on autopilot or remote controlled. You don't have to be there to touch them, just push a button. And when you push the button, it'll automatically turn the channel in the Negro's mind. He said that these differences will make them bigger than what they really are. And if you take 11 of these differences and implement them one year, the slaves will be self-refueling, self-perpetuating, on autopilot, on remote control. Bluetooth wireless Negroes. That's a modern translation. For 300 years, maybe a thousand. When you look at 11 divisions producing 300 years of black people warring against one another, 1712 plus 300 is 2012. We ain't broke the 300 year cycle yet. And we are still victims to fear, envy, distrust, dark skin, light skin, young, old, east side, west side, Lily Negro, McDonald Negro, male, female, we still at odds with one another. But what we have done has been so stupid that we have added some new labels to ourselves that we identify more than what God made us.